All right, y'all, look who showed up. Called in a favor. He ain't got no barbers at his shop. Nah. Y'all remember Roscoe, man? Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go do a little update on his shop. I know he's doing well, but let's go out there. If you guys want to see it, leave me a comment. We'll go out there, check out the shop today, and see how he's rolling in Ohio County. But anyway, let's save this box. As always, guys, we're gonna come in, saturate the hair, get a nice clean section, and then we can come in and start our block graduation. He doesn't want a whole lot off, so we just wanna set up the weight line on the sides, and then we're gonna do a slight trim on top and just add some texture, and then we'll come in and do our fade on the sides. So you guys see, now we just parted down the middle. We'll go ahead and connect it in the back. If you wanna leave it a little longer in the front, you guys have seen it before, we're just gonna pivot out. On here, we're pretty much gonna connect it to that same line, and then we can trim the top and connect this all together. Now because we split the top and took it to each side, you guys should have a guide and you should have a peak in the middle. So you just work from back to front, that's easiest for me. We'll just pull it up, you guys should see where it will fall out on each side from the guide that we already cut. And you'll have a peak in the middle, we'll just take that straight across. And go ahead and add some texture with some point cutting. Now because he has a little bit of a receding hairline like me, guys, I like to tackle the front portion of the hair with it laying down in the front. So you guys can see I'm just working from one side, kind of taking it from that line that we originally cut in across to the front. We will polish that up at the end, guys. But like I said, he didn't want a lot off. We just wanted to clean it up and make it fit with the rest of the haircut. Now we're gonna go ahead and just do a loose blow dry. We wanna get the hair dry so the clip of work can feed right in nice and easy. Now at this point, guys, I have determined that my finger length is about a number three. So we're gonna come in with a number three all the way closed and connect right into that block graduation. Also cutting the side down to a nice, consistent number three so that we can come fade right up into it. Now just like normal guys, we're gonna do our bald guideline in the same exact shape as that connection to the top. So I'm looking at that connection and as I punch my bald guideline in, I'm making sure that it follows the same exact shape. We'll go ahead and punch that line in with our slim lines. I'll bald out just a little bit underneath. Then we'll come in with our skeleton so it's a little bit sharper, making it easier for the shaver to bald it all the way out. Next up, we're gonna come in and set our first open guideline. Guys, we're gonna work our way up about three quarters of an inch. We're using the Babyliss Snap FX. We're gonna go up, set our guideline, and then we can start to work the line out from the bottom. Now we're gonna come in with the Stylecraft Rebel. All the way closed, we're gonna start to bump that bottom guideline out. So I'm pretty precise here, guys. I just wanna bump that line up, and then we'll open the clipper up a little bit and bump the line up a little bit more. We're just gonna work our way up. Basically, if you guys use clippers with notches, think of it this way. If you're on the first notch, you should be at the bottom. If you're on the third notch, you should be in the middle. And if you're on the fifth notch, you should be all the way at the top of the section. guard all the way open we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch and as we work our way up guys we want to set a little bit softer of a guideline so we're gonna flick out you guys can still kind of see the guideline but we want it to be a little bit less harsh as we work our way up it's gonna be a little bit easier to connect into what's above now for me guys once I set the one guideline I like to go ahead and fade my way down and leave only this last guideline that you guys can see underneath the open one so we're gonna go straight to the number two closed we're gonna flick right into the number three that we started with Thank you. 
After that, guys, we're gonna work on that last line between the open one and the two. So we're gonna come in with the one and a half, halfway open, that is the sweet spot, guys. We'll connect all that together, and then all we'll have left is the line between the open one and the open section. So now we can start to attack that last guideline. We're gonna use the close number one and we're gonna attack the guideline, but we know that it's not gonna take it all the way out. There's still gonna be a gap there, and that's what the half guard's for, and we'll tackle it here in a second. So now we're gonna come in with the half guard, halfway open, that is the sweet spot. I like to say we're just gonna kinda rub it through that last line. This guard does not cut super well, and so we're just gonna kinda let it glide through that line, and it will slowly but surely take that line all the way out, and then we'll be done with this side. edge up the C cup, you guys can see he doesn't have a super strong C cup or vertical bar, so we will come in and add some enhancements here in a minute. So you guys can see I am using my clutch card, the 245 no drip. We're just gonna spray it onto the card and let the overspray get onto the hairline. We're gonna go ahead and hit his beard as well. So we will use the straight line on the beard right here and the curve on the curved part of the beard. And as always guys, we will finish it up with some razor work. This is the 245 triple cartridge razor. We're just gonna stretch the skin, pull the blade to the line that we already created and make sure that it is as sharp as possible. Now guys, this is one of the new products that I like to use. This is Statement Grooming Spray. I'm just gonna spray it into the hair. That way we can come in and do our final blow dry and get some texture out of this cut. I'm also gonna add some of my Marmara Space Wax that I like to use in combination with the grooming spray. And guys, that's something that I never really did before, but you guys can try out. Just kind of mixing a couple products together and seeing what the end result looks like. So now that we have the product in, guys, we will come in with a diffuser on our Dyson. And we're just gonna work this texture out. So I'm gonna use my hand a little bit to move the hair around to get it to start to dry and to really work that texture in and get that finished style that we want. We'll go ahead and hit him with a little bit of aftershave. You guys see I got the new green aftershave from level three. I actually like the blue better, but we got my man Roscoe together. Guys, it was good to see him. Like I said, if you guys want me to go do an update on his shop, we will drive out there, check it out. You guys just let me know in the comment section and we'll make it happen. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. You know what to do if you liked it, guys. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys are still liking these live voiceovers that I'm doing. It does take a little bit longer, but if you guys like it, then I'm gonna keep knocking it out. Got a couple more unboxings coming soon. If you guys didn't see the Saber Trimmer video that I dropped last week, you definitely need to check that one out. And I got a couple more coming soon, including a giveaway for the Rogue set from Game of Stylecraft. But anyway guys, that is it. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.